Hi everyone, it's Paper Worm, and my flip through comes way earlier than I thought. Because <laughs> even though I said yesterday in my video that I want to hold back, it didn't happen. So yeah, here we are. Um, I wanted to show you actually this bracelet. I was wearing it in high school back in the day. I just found it in one of my uh, boxes. It's very old. But I still love it. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> so I started this on the 23rd of July. <clears throat> and I'm sorry if I'm losing my voice. I, I have been losing my voice for two weeks now. Every day. Just from speaking. Not even singing. I think it's my reflux. And, and like the stomach acid is burning my throat all the time. I wonder if it could come to a point where I cannot talk anymore. Well, then I guess I, I will put subtitles into my videos. <laughs> I wanted to put a quote here, but I never did. So I will probably do this at some point. <clears throat> Post-it notes for privacy. I kind of like this, this combination because his... Uh, smoke looks like the foam from beer right yeah corona <laughs> I, actually i wonder actually if this beer brand corona has is now like that you know <laughs> so i was reading into like those 46 different sexualities that we have nowadays you know I mean, don't want to sound old-fashioned, but um, I really don't know anything about it. So I was looking into it. I, I was always thinking that I'm bisexual because I was in love with girls before. And, but a, a, according to this list, I could also be pansexual, omnisexual, polysexual. Then someone called me demisexual and I have no fucking clue what that means. I mean, I, I saw the description, but I forgot already, you know. I think I just keep it old school and just call myself bisexual, you know. <laughs> because that's at least something that people can understand. I'm always confused when people start to talk about all the other things. Maybe if I was part of the scene, then I would have more knowledge about it, but I, I'm not. So I'm sorry if I sound like... Uh, ignorant? Is this the right word? I don't know. I don't want to be, but I'm, I really don't know anything about it. So yeah, my energy work uh, has like... Um, has become a lot stronger. Now when I just lift my hands up into the air, like... like, a, I'm, like kinder imagine that I'm a tree you know like my my feet go grow roots into the earth and my fingers make contact to the source right like standing like, like a tree right and um, then as soon as I lift my hands I uh, get like this intense tingling of energy so I'm able to feel it a lot more than let's say a year ago so this is how i can see how i you know not get better but feel things stronger yeah and i called this my higher self but she wanted a more melodic name so uh, in the end we chose vanalera as her new name now she's satisfied apparently I love this. <laughs> Harry Potter and Linkin Park were one of my biggest fandoms in the past, right? And I drew this alien. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I uh, do only ink sketches, you know, so I cannot erase anything. And if I make a mistake, oops, I have to work with whatever mistake I made, right? But 
since aliens are like surreal cre creatures, it doesn't really matter because they are literally like a thousand different variations that you could draw, right? So it doesn't really matter. So here, <laughs> is this in frame? I hope so. Wait a second, I check really quick. Uh, yeah. This was a, a screenshot from my introduction video and everyone was like, oh, you're so beautiful, you're so cute, you know. And then <laughs> Sarah <laughs> was like, your eyes should be in a museum. <laughs> it cracked me up. Like the way she's like um, expressing herself is so funny. So funny. Oh. Yeah, remember in my last flip through when I sh when I talked about the bands I was listening to during my um, my teenage years, I had a picture of Joey Jordison and a Connor, and now he died. I mean, I wasn't so big and fat into him anymore. You know, it was a long time ago when I was crushing on him, but still, once he was a part of my life, right? And a part of my fantasy and my daydreams and uh, my fan fiction. Did I say this already? I don't know. But yeah, so I didn't cry, but I was feeling kind of... He worked really hard. So. Oh, so Sage showed me this drawing tag. Uh, I think it came originally from... What is this app called? TikTok. I, I don't have it and I don't want it. But she sh shared this with me. And uh, it is about drawing your demon. And it says, make his skin your favorite color. In my... Yeah, black is my favorite color, right? Make the eyes the color of your birthstone. The hair the color of your shirt that you're wearing. If you have glasses, add another pair of glass uh, of eyes or a third eye if you wear earrings then add them too and if your favorite animal has horns or wings you can add them too so i did this and i decided to um make it a boy you know i don't know i don't know why i guess because i kind of got the vibes that uh the mysterious soulmate <laughs> that he has kind of this type of hair or Maybe a little bit fuller or longer, but goes into that direction. So, yeah, that's why. Uh, yeah, Minami was sick and the fan base went nuts. So I, um, I tried to send some, you know, distance energy healing to him for like five days in a row. I don't know if it did anything, you know, but I was thinking, well, if it, only helps one percent then that's better than nothing right i hope he isn't a psychic because uh, if he felt that then i have some apologizing to do um i wanted to show you actually my my japanese notebook for the studying i it just came into my brain look here i learned the numbers first and then uh, short words and later um it was this was really hard. I still cannot say that. <laughs> so uh, I kind of felt like this was kind of easy for me to learn. But then later I always forget certain things. I always forget certain rules because Duolingo is not explaining them to me. You know, they just... Put something into my face and i don't know why you know like they never they just say write it like this right but they never tell me why so i'm always a little bit confused with that app you know and i tried to find out what paper worm could mean in japanese so this is i think means something like printed paper like newspaper and this is like insect and caterpillar wor worm so I'm not sure if that means paper worm, <laughs> but maybe in the future we find out about it, right? So, love confessions. Maybe we need this in the future. I don't know. I, I think that's the first thing that everyone wants to learn is how to swear in another language and love confessions, right? Shampoo! <laughs> 
there are so many cute words in here that make me laugh because for me as a german person i receive them completely different no, not not receive them perceive them right that's the right word yeah my english is bad too i should actually uh, maybe learn better english first but i don't know i find this really interesting and i have a lot of fun so Yeah, I filled a lot of pages, apparently. This, those were today's notes. I lost my Duolingo hearts in a, less than five minutes because I made so many mistakes. <laughs> it was shameful, but yeah, I, I still have a lot of fun. So, <sighs> And then we have this weird... I don't know why I did this. Uh, someone sent me those stamps. And I thought I should use them. So this is... The, the outcome, I guess. <laughs> Back from hell, I was at the dentist. It wasn't some anything big, you know. I had like a, like my front tooth is hurting, and um, they, it's like a, when you have this hot and cold type of pain sensation, you know, when you eat something hot or cold, but it's like permanent, and they put like some invisible luck on my tooth and rubbed it in, and they closed basically. They closed little tiny holes in my enamel, right? In or so I don't have this pain problem anymore. It was like instantly better. I I loved it. My dentist is so nice. He's like a like some kind of like sunny boy, you know? He smiles like when you enter the room and as a patient that is panicking, I really need that. <laughs> Steals your leg and your heart. <laughs> yeah. This is just a, a printout from a Discord chat because this dude called me Sasuke when I said I have to retreat into the shadows where I belong. <laughs> so, I mean, I guess everyone who's a Naruto fan will understand this joke. Right? Yeah, here. Uh, I, my favorite band now, all of them are sick. They... Uh, all have a fever now and I wasn't sure if I can do anything about it you know what I mean like this is kind of hardcore if you want to send energy healing to so many people yeah anyway I got distracted in my brain um Leo season I kind of feel like I never gave a shit about summer actually I, I'm always the autumn and winter type but um this year, I definitely drew some, um, well, some energy from the sun. You know, this is why I worked with the deity of the sun, right? Kenunos. So I really needed that, definitely. I wasn't really celebrating this uh, Lamas, but um, at least I decorated my journal. I ran out of this tape. I don't know who sent this to me back in the day. I really loved it, but now it's gone. Oh. Here I just took some notes. <laughs> uh, I was watching a channeling session by David Lotherington, and I just took notes of it here. This dude is amazing. Can recommend his channel if you are into spirituality. I saw those black gemstones and I never I, I kind of work with onyx and obsidian but I never knew that there was a black moonstone or a black amethyst so yeah I was immediately hopping onto in some online shops in order to look it up but then I was like hold up hold up you know Danny stop stop because I'm always like the impulse buyer right and then I'm broke and I have nothing to eat and I have to go to my mom's and rate her cabinets right so <laughs> I, I did hold back. I tried to find out first if I really need it or if I just want it, right? Because it's black. Right, right. Yeah, that was kind of funny. That was when the package came here yesterday, the one I made the video for.
So today I learned from my therapist what depression is and why I have depression and what the depression is doing for me, right? And I understood so much, you know? It is so much easier to feel too weak to get up than, you know, standing up and facing your problems or facing the situations that you don't want to be in, right? Or setting boundaries with people, right? And um, it's a, a lot easier to just say, I'm too sick to get up. I'm too sick to try, right? I'm just comfortable in my cocoon, right? So I, I finally understood a little bit more what the heck is wrong with me, you know? <laughs> I was definitely clinging onto the thought that I'm sick for a long time. But I want to change. I want to... Um, Well, I want to do something with my life, right? I want to earn money and I want to save and I want to travel to, I don't know, maybe Japan, you know, like <laughs> so some places where I always wanted to go, but I cannot do this if I, uh, you know, if I dwell on my depression. So that is a halfway mark of my journal. And since I only needed two weeks to fill this up, we can assume that the other half will be filled in two weeks too. So uh, I actually started one of those tiny composition notebooks as a second journal for when I leave the house. But it's not here right now. It's in my backpack. So I cannot show you right now. What do we have here? Just some stuff that is not interesting. Alrighty. That was my flip through. I hope you enjoyed it. Oh, oh, was it in frame? Did I? Oh, fuck. I hope I did not cut off half of it while I was filming. <laughs> I don't want to do this again. My throat hurts. Uh, bye, 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 bye.